immunological screening immunological screening it is widely used for the uh, screening or the detection of uh, expressed product immunological screening it involves the use of specific antibodies against the target protein uh, i think you have the idea that antibodies they are highly specific in their reaction and specific antibodies they can react against specific determinants on the target protein and uh, one of the advantage is that if the antibodies they are available for different express proteins so they can be used against such uh, uh, such targets so this is one of the uh, advantage of immunological screening that the different antibodies they can recognize different सेट ऑफ प्रोटीन्स नो ये जो एंटीबॉडीज हैं ये टारगेट प्रोटीन पे एक खास किस्म के एंटीजेनिक डिटर्मिनेंट्स के साथ रिएक्शन करती हैं और ये जो डिटर्मिनेंट्स हैं इनको कॉमनली हम एपिटॉप भी कहते हैं नो व्हाट आर एपिटॉप्स एपिटॉप्स दे आर स्पेसिफिक अमीनो एसिड सीक्वेंसेस that can fold in a proper three dimensional conformation from rest of the protein and such specific sequence of amino acids they are called as epitope or simply antigenic determinants and these antigenic determinants uh, they are produced uh, in different type of proteins in different conditions like uh, if protein it is expressed incompletely even then uh, epitopes are uh, formed on such incomplete proteins and even the protein if they are expressed in hybrid form or chimeric form uh, which is called as the fusion proteins fusion proteins they are the product of two genes and that's why they are called as the fusion proteins and fusion proteins also have such epitope or antigenic uh, determinant under some circumstances if host is subjected to high temperature and uh, uh, under these conditions the target proteins if they are denatured so even denatured proteins they also maintain the epitope so this method has the advantage that antibodies they can react with such determinants or epitopes on Uh, target proteins and make th make the de uh, detection of the expressed product uh, easy so immunological techniques uh, were used uh, in late 1970s to detect expressed product and this method uh, mainly first time was used by some a few scientists like broom and uh, gilbert in 1978 so they explained the immunological Uh, screening of the expressed uh, protein product their strategy was based on the fact that target proteins they can bind uh, with some plastic materials like the polyvinyl and uh, after polyvinyl binding then such polyvinyl sheets can be uh, further used to detect the target protein by using another antibiotic now practically what we can do uh, during the screening of uh, proteins by using immunological techniques so here the recombinant colonies that express our target protein they may be grown on a suitable uh, agar medium where they will express its gene product and after expression the cells can be lysed by using different chemicals like uh, chloroform can be used and even the recombinant colonies can be sprayed with virulent phages so then so that plaque formation may be there so in any case cell lysis is there that may be mediated by chloroform or phage particles and when lysis is there then expressed proteins it can be shifted to the polyvinyl sheet so what happens in this case the replica plating it is required so hamare paas ek uh, colonies ka master set hona chahiye jahan se hum apne clones ko recover kar sake 
تو کلونیز کے لائسس کے بعد ہم کیا کرتے ہیں کہ پولی ونائل شیر جس پہ ہماری اسپیسیفک اینٹی باڈی ہے اگین اسپیسیفک اینٹی جینک ڈیٹامیننٹ اس کو ہم کلونیز کے سرفس پہ رکھتے ہیں ایگر پلیٹ پہ رکھتے ہیں اور اس کو کچھ دیر کے بعد ہم اٹھا لیتے ہیں اور اس کے بعد ہم جو لیبلڈ اینٹی باڈیز ہیں آر ریڈیو لیبلڈ اینٹی باڈیز دیٹ مے بی آئیوڈین ون ٹو فائیو لیبلڈ آئی جی جی اینٹی باڈیز دے کین بی یوزڈ ٹو ڈیٹیکٹ دا ٹارگیٹ اینٹی جینس اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ وی کین ڈیٹیکٹ دا ریڈیو ایکٹیویٹی بائی ایکس رے فلم سو ان دس وے دس ٹیکنیک by using two antibodies, which is a sandwich technique, uh, where the antigen it is present between two antibodies. First, that is binded with uh, polyvinyl sheet, and then antigen is there, and then antigen is detected with radio-labeled IgG antibodies. And these secondary antibodies, they are labeled with radioactive iodine. So what is the basic outline of immunological screening? Uh, we are going to explain with the help of diagram. As I told you that polyvinyl sheet, it can be used. And this polyvinyl sheet, it is having affinity for IgG antibodies here. So IgG antibodies, it is bounded with polyvinyl sheet. And after the cell lysis, this polyvinyl sheet along with unlabeled IgG molecules, it is placed on the lysed colonies. If the antigen it is expressed, antigen mean if our target protein it is expressed with some specific antigenic determinants, then IgG antibodies will react it. Then the sheet can be lifted from the colonies and then it is subjected to second antibody reaction. Now the second antibody which is again IgG antibodies, it is labeled with iodine 1 to 5. So it is radio labeled. And then this radioactivity, it can be detected with X-ray film. So this is the basic aminochemical detection that was used by Broom and Gilbert in 1978. In immunological screening, basically, the method is to use a sandwich technique where first antibody it is used that is bounded with a polyvinyl sheet and then the secondary antibody, which is radio-labeled, it is being Uh, used so for sandwich technique now actually the target protein must contain two antigenic determinants one for the first antibody and then for the radio labeled antibody and even if the fusion proteins are there then the two proteins must contain antigenic determinants or uh, epitopes so that their screening may be possible so these this is the basic technique where we can screen or detect the target protein by using immunological screening.